Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. I'll start with New York coffee. Since the pacification of the market around the two lesser Fibonacci levels at 174.45 and 174.55 back in early August, prices have tried moving back up, but found it hard. Initially, the move up over the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 182 and three quarters looked like it might prove something, provide something. We did indeed see prices push up over the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 196.20. However, though they managed on numerous attempts to push up over that 50% Fibonacci line, there was only the one close over it. Thus, there was no confirmation of the intent of the move higher. Consequently, last week, prices fall fell away again in disappointment I suspect interesting the true cap on the market during this time was the November 2014 high at 20130 now late last week and this week so far we've seen the market play with the old 50, uh, 2015 high at 18740 though I suspect it is perhaps more likely that the market is cautious about testing down to the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 182.75. There is some justification for this as the lows dipped down through this level though not by much back some four weeks ago. This has led to the development of a small early August uptrend currently at 182.55 which is just above the 2016 high at 179.55 and the rising short medium moving average currently 178.90. And it would be there I'd normally leave it, but I have a nagging feeling that the connected highs from August as well as this uptrend make up the best part of a possible ascending broadening wedge pattern. A not uncommon pattern, though not seen everywhere either. We've had two touches on each side right now and we need a third. That is, re that is to be rejected so that we can then confirm it as a possible pattern. So you can see that though we have a possible setup for such a pattern, we still haven't verified it. However, just in case, should we have a breakout from this pattern, then the break upwards will be something right now in the order of about 15 and a half cents on top of the upper trend line currently at 209.10, whilst the break downwards would be something like 18 cents off of the lower trend line currently 182.75. As I've said, this is a pattern is still underdeveloped, but it is a possibility and one to watch. London Coffee. I very well remember four weeks ago saying, and I quote, I have deliberately left a broken early April to mid-May bullish Andrews pitchfork on this daily chart. In the recent past, this pitchfork has been crucial in setting the timing for the moves higher, but having broken the upper time, which is actually currently at 21.53, and the lower time, which is currently at 2,000, you think it would no longer be valid. However, not so. Most recently, the, most recently, the broken lower time has started to once again indicate the bullish angle of attack of this market. Now, this may only last a few days or weeks. However, whilst it works, I'll keep it. End of quote. Well, you can see how, especially our, over the last two weeks, how valid this broken upper time has been as a dynamic resistance and then the middle time, currently at 20, uh, 2077, initially support most recently as resistance. The broken bullish Andrews pitchfork nevertheless still shows the bullish angle of attack, so I will continue to stick with it until I find something better. Now, overhead, we have some small congestion at 2121 and 2139, but the more heavier resistance is a little higher still at the August 2017 high at 2173 and the June 2017 high at 2177. Meanwhile below we still have this band of congestion between 1937 mm, currently though this may rise to 1968 and all the way up it raises it rises to 2004. So it could be between 1937 and 2004 or it may later be between 1968 and 2004. However Three weeks ago, the market drove up through it easily after stumbling within it back in late July. I guess I'll just have to keep a wary eye on it, whether it stumbles or whether it just falls through. 
Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investors International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>